Hello everyone, this is Manuj from Adlux FX and welcome back to yet another tutorial. So in today's tutorial, we are going to see some simple tips and tricks which can be used for doing cleanup tasks inside Nuke and Silhouette as well. So as an artist who is working in a Gen Z generation, which kind of tricks are you using in your work? Just let me know that in the comment section. So let's jump into the tutorial. Okay, so we are inside Nuke here and let's do a quick playback here to show you how our footage looks like and it's kind of a simple shot let's suppose if i'm going to remove this letter pad from this shot and as you can see it doesn't have that much moment here so this can be kind of an easy shot for a senior artist but can be quite tougher for a beginner or a junior artist so before starting the work we always make sure that we are working on a denoise plate so if you check our input here you can see grain running all over the footage which is kind of normal so we are using some nodes inside nuke for denoising it so the easiest way to denoise the plate is by using the default nuke node called denoise pretty simple right okay so let's connect the source pipe into the plate as you can see there is an error message here that is because just take this sample area from the corner to somewhere in the footage where it is dark and more grain is visible so i'm going to place it here let's compare the plate and the denoise result it's not that good it's not that effective but uh, certainly it removed some grain also there is another gizmo which is available in tony lyon's nuke survival kit that is x denoise also you can download this from nukepedia so x denoise is quite powerful tool but it is very heavy and memory conscious be aware of that so i have connected that into the plate and let's see how the result looks like so this is our input and let's view in the color channel uh, i will just close this denoise node okay and let's see output of x denoise that's a very good result but you can see a lot of changes in the input after doing the x denoise it is quite powerful but um, chances of getting artificial effects are way higher so be aware of that so always make sure you are not overusing this node and the next is a trick inside nuke so you can denoise the plate using frame blend node so i just took frame blend node and you can connect that into the plate as you can see noise is completely cut off but you can see a lot of artifacts in the footage so whenever there is a large camera motion or you know the characters are moving very fast in the shot this can create a lot of artifacts so if there is a static shot and there is not that much movement of characters or any object in the shot you can use frame blend techniques to create an amazing denoise output so these all are some of the ways which we can use for denoising the plate there is also another plugin which is pretty famous and i think most of the companies uses that the name of that plugin is reduce noise which i don't have that in my machine because it is very costly so here we have the denoise result inside nuke and it's kind of okay we are not losing so much details here so let's keep this as our input right now we can name this as input and we can name this as denoise render or denoise plate you can use sticky note as well instead of uh, backdrop so i'm going to take a sticky note here and just place it above here and renaming that as denoise plate let's increase the font size to 25 so so that it is visible okay so we have the denoise plate here and let's start the work as everyone knows that uh, for removal tasks we need to create clean plates and we have to track this specific area and just do the prep later using the clean plate and the track so i already made a clean plate here so i'm going to take that so this is my clean plate and uh, we can use a copy premult for cutting this clean plate using an alpha so keeping it over here let's use a rotor node for creating an alpha so i just drawn an alpha over here and now if i view on pre mold you can see we have a pre multiplied clean plate so i'm going to merge that over the input for the tutorial purpose i already took a track so i'm going to use that track here let's connect that into the pre mold node so i'm going to show you how my result looks like oops that is because i have to use a frame hold here to hold that paint strokes okay so if i play now you can see our result here i think we just need to create some more clean plates in 75th frame maybe we just need to create a clean plate on first frame 75th frame and also the 40th frame and we need to blend later using these three clean plates which is quite a lot of work this is kind of an easy task so 
maybe it can take half a day but if it's a complex task then it's gonna take a lot of effort to do the work so i'm going to show you an amazing trick uh, using silhouette plugin which you can download from boris fx website i'm going to take a silhouette plugin so there is a node inside nuke as you can see it has three pipes input source one source two i'm going to connect input into the denoise plate and let's click on open silhouette interface so we have that same footage um, so the awesome thing which is there with silhouette plugin is that we don't have to you know load the footage inside silhouette interface it is automatically loaded and we just need to start our work i'm going to the first frame as you can see we don't have any clean plate or we just need to create a clean plate here so as we already have a clean plate um, inside nuke we can bring that here or you can just start over there itself i'm just demonstrating the trick here so i'm going to connect that into the frame hold and if i open silhouette right now as you can see now we have two plates inside silhouette which is what we needed so uh, you can see the paint node is connected into the plate and the source pipe is connected to the source one which is the clean plate so as you can see in the first frame if you go over here and click on view source one you can see the clean plate over here so let's go into the output and let's do a paint work or if we want to create a new clean plate here you can do that the best way to do here is creating a clean plate in silhouette itself so i'm not going to use the source one clean plate from nuke uh, because i just want to show you how we can make a clean plate inside silhouette pretty easily so i'm going to take clone node and let's do a quick clean plate so i'm not going to voice over here so you can sit back relax and just learn how i am creating this clean plate you can click on output here and then you can paint it out So always make sure your clean plate is having good quality. You are exactly matching the highlights, shadows, color and everything so that it looks natural. My clean plate is ready and now I have to take a tracker for this specific area. We can use Mocha for that and import the tracker from Mocha to Silhouette. Right now I'm just going to use the default Mocha tracker inside Silhouette itself. So just take the tracker properties and just create a spline over here. We don't have to create a layer in the newer versions of Silhouette. Inside Mocha tracker, let's click on this track button. Hopefully we will get a nice track. That's done. So now let's click on stabilize view and check how our track looks like. I think it looks kind of okay. It's distorting a bit but I think it will do the work. Let's see how it looks like. Click on the paint node and click on the paint properties as well. And if you go on the first frame where we created the clean plate, you can see inside this paint history there is a layer with all those paint strokes. So click on that. You can see all those paint strokes here. The next thing you have to do is make sure you connected the object pipes between roto and paint so that we can extract the tracking properties from roto node inside into paint node. So inside the paint properties here inside transform you can see all those tracking layers available inside the roto node. So I'm going to select layer 1 here. Click on this match move button inside the auto paint properties and there are a bunch of options here to choose. Um, I'm going to choose work range because I just need to paint the entire work range if you want to do frame by frame you can auto paint using this button okay as you can see uh, we don't have a good track here so that's why we have a lot of issues or else this is a good result let's come out of stabilize node and check how our render looks like this looks good looks good but we can see some kind of issues in the edges that is because of the track. Uh, what we can do here is we can go inside Roto node and uh, we create yet another layer track this specific area. Let's see how this works out. 
hopefully we got a nice track so this is layer 2 come back again into the paint node and inside the paint node make sure you connected the object pipes and inside the transform pull down menu click on layer 2 now i'm going to use an erase node and uh, here i'm going to use blur node to just blur these things out and just trying to create some more paint strokes to remove the entire stuff hopefully this time we will get an amazing result so and make sure the track layer is exactly what we need just come over to the auto paint properties and you can see the second layer here so click on that layer and you can see all the new strokes are selected make sure we check the match move option and also make sure the range which we are working so these all things are set let's click on the play backward exactly what we need and now we have much more realistic result so we don't have to blend clean plates here this is pretty easy inside silhouette now if you still feel like you have some more work to do you can add those paint strokes using you can add color or you can do anything and you can use the exact track of that specific area and just auto paint that so auto paint inside silhouette is pretty handy for doing prep task or cleanup task now how we can render this result and take that into nuke that's pretty easy you just need to save this so always make sure you are saving the file and just close this file now if you view on the silhouette paint plugin wow you have the result inside nuke right now pretty easy right you just don't have to create multiple clean plates and blend them and do all those prep works you just need to install the silhouette paint plugin and just do the work inside silhouette and just close that you have the result inside nuke now the final step is to add grain over the rendered result so if you view our silhouette paint plugin you can see in the alpha we don't have anything but inside the paint node properties if you check here you have paint alpha so if you click that on brush mask you can see all those brushed alpha here you can use painted alpha which is kind of a good option for getting all the desired alpha result even you can use um, difference node inside new to get the difference between both this input and the render result let's uh, fill some value here so you can see we have an alpha there we just don't need that if you are using silhouette paint plugin so i'm going to remove that this is our render result so we have the alpha here so what i'm going to do is let's use a key mix and connect that into here and we have the alpha here so let's connect that into the mask and now let's view the result how it looks like as you can see the area where we painted is is kind of denoised because that is the part where we used our denoised painted result so let's add grain over here it's pretty easy I'm using grain advanced here because it is way better than the default grain <laughs> that's why so I'm going to connect that here and you can connect the alpha into the same alpha um, and let's view over the rendered results that's awesome wow that looks awesome right it's so simple to do paint works inside silhouette paint plugin you can see the reflection smashed perfectly the shadow smashed perfectly now let's compare our input and how our render looks like looks like we have a decent result and i just created this output within just like below half an hour so it's quite easy to do cleanup task inside silhouette so i hope all gen z kids are using this trick if yes please comment it down if not please try to use this trick in your work and see the difference in your efficiency so i hope this tutorial is useful for everyone if yes please comment down your thoughts below and let me know if you need any other tutorials on specific topics until next time it's manu signing off thank you for watching